can about real estate investing and uh, networking with other investors that actually can help develop the resources you need to do this business. So, so uh, our Phoebe Clubs, we have about 15 chapters, 11 are currently active right now and about 17,000 members uh, throughout Southern California. Uh, Jeremy was actually one of the founders of the club and uh, he was tired of going to the different real estate clubs and getting pitched the different boot camps and books and tape sets and things like that. So um, he started Phoebe. Um, I became a partner thereafter and so did Dave uh, because we, we really appreciated the fact that he was throwing these without expecting anything in return and really just trying to help people learn and invest. And you know, what I tend to do, like I mentioned mobile home parks before, I just really love that asset class for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons why I love it is because it actually caters to the low low end income, which a lot of the jobs since 2008 have become you know, either low end or high end, and the middle class has been eroded, as you know. And so one adjustment you can make, which is what I try to do, is only invest in things that are catering to low income or higher income areas or people because the middle class has been washed out. Now that, that makes a lot of sense based on looking at the real data, but at the same time, we're kind of still going on with the economy not worrying about the fact that the real, you know, the real GDP is negative. So you still have to, you can't get too carried away with it, but it's really important to understand and, and adjust accordingly as an investor, which is not so simple. If you want to make money, you look for things that have been smashed, smashed into the ground, right? The commodities have been smashed. So when oil drops again into thirty dollars per dollar, it's going to be the buy of the century because the two most precious things on the planet, besides true love, is oil and water. Right? <laughs> What's the price of true love these days? <laughs>